I am Doug Keck, and this is an EWTN Bookmark Brief. Just had the pleasure of speaking with Marlene Watkins about her wonderful book, Everyday Miracles, through Our Lady of Lords, 20 Experiences Along the Way to the Grotto, proudly published by EWTN Publishing, available naturally through our EWTN Religious Catalog, EWTNRC.com, all things Catholic. Tell us, Marlene Watkins, why did you write this book, and why should people be interested in it? Well, it was a grace. I made a promise in prayer that I would write the book, and then I went down several rabbit holes, reasons why I wouldn't write it. Well, maybe nobody would read it. Maybe nobody would publish it, because first-time publishing is very rare for a first-time author that I read on the Internet. And, uh, you know, that, well, their stories, and they're true, but it's, you know, they're not official miracles in the church. Or, so I had a lot of different reasons why I avoided writing it. And, um, and then COVID came. So I had already had one chapter written because I just felt so guilty that I'd made a promise I hadn't kept. So that one chapter stayed by itself for a couple of years, maybe three years. And then COVID came and I had a very vivid dream. And in this dream, and I rarely dream that I remember it. If I dream, I don't know it. And in this dream, um, you know, I just come home March 9th from, from Italy and France where the COVID outbreak began and there was nothing on the grocery store shelves and I was quarantined and then I went to sleep and I was in a grocery store that had everything on the shelves but I didn't recognize it and I came around the corner and there with three registers was this woman that I absolutely love that I met through Lourdes and but she was young she was only 16 and I didn't know her then about that age and so I ran over to her she smiled at me and she held out her hand and in her hand was the most exquisite fountain pen like it should be in a museum beautiful and I looked and I thought, that is just stunning. That's exquisite. And then all of a sudden I realized that was her chapter. That I should, I wasn't thinking about really? a book. That was her story. And I looked up in her eyes and when I did, she smiled more. She held her hands out further and I looked down and now there were about 20 pens in her hand. And they were, some of them had jewels, some of them were cloissonade. They were, hers was cloissonade. They were, they were wood carved. They were, they look like Monet. They look like they should be in museum. And I, I was just amazed at these unique, they're all different. And then I realized, oh, those are more chapters in the book. So then just like Peter getting out of the boat, mm. I thought, oh, that, that's too many chapters. I, I can't write that. I can't do it. So I started to doubt it. And as soon as I did, it stopped and I woke right up. It took me two days to find her because her husband's career took them all around the world. And I called her and I said, your story is a very intimate story. Mm but I believe I should write it in a book and about these graces and lords. Mm -hmm. She said, let me talk to my family because they don't know, everyone doesn't know my story. Right. It's very personal and um, I, she said, I think, uh, let me talk to them, I'll call you back. Two days later she said, I think there are other women like me who have a hole in them. And the liquid grace and lords filled it, it changed my life. I measure my life from the day before I went to lords and the day after. Right. It was so profound. I know that I'm, she's very shy and quiet. She said, I know that I never planned to have it be made public, but I think someone might need to hear about this grace, and I can't deny it. So she, like the other people, all of them have one thing in common. They're all very humble about the grace they received. So every one of them is very different, and I started writing. And it's something everybody can relate to, yes, one of the stories, right? Absolutely. This, if anybody who reads this book is going to find one story. And why is it an everyday miracle? Well, you know, there's official miracles in the Catholic Church, and they go through an exhaustive scrutiny, a medical process of scientists examining, can they explain it or not? Mm -hmm. Then it's a bishop who proclaims it as a miracle, meaning that's God that, that did this. Um, and those things happen now just like they did out of the Gospels. But these are like the Gospel miracles, but fast forwarded to today, mm -hmm. because it's the same awesome God, and he still performs right. miracles. Uh, so. I think that they're every day because they didn't go to the medical bureau, they don't qualify because you can't x-ray or measure, um, you know, forgiveness no. or, um, you know, the different cures that and healings that take place yeah. in here that are really profound. Okay, and this is just a sample of those. Thank you, Marlene Watkins. The book, Everyday Miracles of Lords, 20 Extraordinary Experiences Along the Way to the Grotto, published by EWTN, available through our catalog, of course. Look for the entire interview I did with Marlene on our YouTube channel and on demand, and coming soon on the network. I'm Doug Keck. This has been a Bookmark Brief. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.